improved your aggressiveness. All right, that's awesome. All of those features are pieces of the physical aspect of wrestling. All right, so wrestling has many physical features. You gotta be fast, you gotta be strong, you gotta have good technique, you gotta have good endurance. But there's another piece other than physical. Can anybody tell me what that is? You gotta be aggressive, yeah. You gotta be mental, right? You gotta, your mental game has to be strong. Right? So one of the ways I look at wrestling is that the brain is just another piece of you as a wrestler. And just like a muscle, you've got to work it to make it stronger, to make it better. So what our company does is we go around and we talk to wrestlers, we talk to them over the phone, we talk to them on uh, Skype or on video chat on the computer about the mental aspect of the rest of, about wrestling. Right? So one of the things that I think is really important is the way that we view wrestling. Right? And there's two kind of thought patterns that I notice when I talk to wrestlers. There's what we call prey thoughts, there's what we call predator thoughts. Now, who can tell me what a predator animal is? Uh, it's an animal that hunts other animals, that's great. You know how you can tell a predator animal from a prey animal? Maybe trying to attack them, good. What's that? Prey are more shy than predators. They're more shy. That's good. We're going to go into that in a second. Yeah. Aggressiveness. Their aggressiveness. All right. One more. They have eyes in the front and the side. That's good. You, you must see our stuff sometimes, right? So predator animals have their eyes in the front of their head. Eyes in front like to hunt. Prey animals have their eyes in the side. Eyes in the side like to hide. So you guys, where are your eyes? On the front. You guys are natural born predators. Even though we're natural born predators, sometimes our thoughts don't back that up. Sometimes we get those thoughts like we're a prey animal, where we start to react to our environment. Right? Now, prey reacts because it's trying to avoid the predator. They want to stay safe. Their safety mechanism is to run away. So they see a predator and they take off. Predator animals are different. When they see their prey, they're focused on nothing else. Their vision narrows. Whatever they want, they go after. As a wrestler, if you want to reach your goals, you want to reach your potential, it's important that you know where you're going, what you want, and you don't let anything distract you. So you guys could be home playing Fortnite right now, but instead you guys decided to come into camp, work hard, and improve. That's a predator mindset. You guys are coming in here, sacrificing a little bit of time to work hard. A prey mindset is somebody that doesn't worry about that, right? They're more focused on what they could be doing, all right? They're reacting. So on the map, a prey thought that you may have is if I shoot, this guy may just defend it and score on me. Who's ever thought that? If I shoot, I may get scored on. Yeah. And I bet each of us has had that thought at some point. All right? A better thought to have, a predator mindset or a predator thought would be, I'm going to shoot on this guy and I'm going to take him down. All right? A prey thought might be something like, man, this guy's got a really good single leg. But if I'm focused on that wrestler's moves, if I'm focused on what he's trying to do, my focus is not myself. I can't control what my opponent does. I can't control if he's going to hit a high C, a single, a double leg, try to snap me down. I can only control what I do. So when I'm on the mat, my predator mindset tells me whatever my best move is, that's what I need to go for. I'm not worried about what he's going to try to do to me. I'm worried about what I'm going to do to him to score. Right, so how many of you guys have ever wrestled somebody and lost? All of us. How many people have wrestled that person again and thought about the last match? That's prey mindset. That happens because we're worried about what could happen. It could happen again. This guy beat me once, maybe he'll beat me again. Right? How many of you have wrestled somebody from a tough school and started thinking about that school that that guy's from? Like, man, that school's really good at wrestling. That's you reacting to where he's from. But you don't know that just because he's from that school, he's good. Your thoughts should be on your moves, your pace. So rather than focus on what school he's from, you're focused on what you worked on at practice. Like, man, I've been really working my snap down to my front headlock. I'm really good at that. That's what I'm gonna get into in this match. You're like, man, I really like to get into my underhook. I'm gonna get into my underhook series, and I'm gonna score points there. That's predator mindset. That's you thinking about what you can do to go out there and win a match. All right, so the big key here, guys, is every single one of you is gonna have prey thoughts at times. Who's ever heard of Dan Gable? Dan Gable 
went to wrestle Larry Owens in his last match in college. He had never lost in college wrestling. And after the match, one of the things he talked about that affected his performance and may have been part of the reason he lost was he was worried about Owens' cradle. He had seen Owens' cradle people throughout the entire tournament. And when he went into that match, he was thinking about not getting cradled instead of thinking about what he always did. Going out there, being aggressive, getting on a guy, wearing him out, getting to his armbar series. So even the best wrestlers are gonna have prey thoughts that come up. So the key is, when you notice the prey thought, when you're thinking about where he's from, what happened last match, what move he might do, how tired we are, that's distracting you from doing what you wanna do, which is perform well. If you go out and perform well, who's, who's happy afterwards? If you have a good performance in a match. And if you go out and perform well, you have fun, and you focus on what you're good at, with that predator mindset, you're going to have a lot more success than if you're worried about what that person does. So one of the things we do as a company, we don't do motivational speaking. We don't do therapy. We focus on the how of the mental aspect. Who's had a coach tell you, get tough? Shoot, get more aggressive, get tougher. Now let me ask you this, how many of them then tell you how to do that thing? Some of them, you guys got some good coaches, that's <laughs> awesome. What we focus on are skills and strategies on how to improve those different aspects of wrestling. Confidence, mental toughness, relaxing under pressure, aggressiveness. And with these strategies, you can go out there and you can improve your mind. Right? You can work that mind just like your biceps right? or your chest if you're doing push-ups. You can strengthen that mind and by doing so, you're going to one, become a better wrestler and two, you're going to have more fun. And that's what this sport is supposed to be about, is having fun. You're supposed to go out there, enjoy yourself and try to improve. Right? So I want to leave you guys on this. Right? In the future, realize every single wrestler, you guys saw Vincenzo Joseph the other day, right? Today. Today? That's awesome. Right? I guarantee Vincenzo Joseph has had prey thoughts in his career. But what I notice when he goes to the NCAA tournament, he doesn't worry about what somebody has placed before. He didn't go out as a freshman and worry about the fact that Isaiah Martinez was a two-time national champion. He went out there to win the match. He focused on his moves, getting into the positions that he's good at. Because when he went and wrestled in the NCAA finals, he went out there with a predator mindset. And what happened? He won, he's national champ. Right? So you guys think if predator mindset works for guys at like, you know, Penn State or other schools or these top level athletes, you guys think it'll work for you? Yes. Awesome, I agree so. Alright. So if you guys have any questions, I'm gonna be over here in the back and you guys can come up and I'll, I'll talk to you about some other stuff we do as a company and some other ways that you guys can improve as wrestlers. Uh, thank you for letting me come in and talk today and good job at camp. Thank you.